Faith leaders and activists around the country rallied on Capitol Hill yesterday to, to deliver a message to House Speaker Paul Ryan and the House Republicans that the GOP health care plan, which is scheduled for a floor vote today, is morally offensive. Reverend William Barber, who is with, uh, who is senior lecturer of repairs of the breach and president, led the moral march, which included a stop at Speaker Ryan's office. Our cameras were along for the visit. Paul Ryan introduced his bill, which guts the Affordable Care Act. He actually dared to call this an act of mercy. But let's be clear on what this bill does. First, it takes health care away from 24 million Americans, low wage workers, the disabled, the elderly, the mentally ill, children, the ones whose scripture tells us to care for first. That's right, shame. 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 The Trump Ryan take care away death bill <laughs> is being pushed through Congress. It is an unmerciful act of meanness. This is the largest attack on the poor in recent history. Amen. It's shocking and inhumane for Ryan and all of these other legislators to get free health care just because they got elected, Amen. but then they don't want the people that elected them to have the same thing that they have. It would be an absolute disgrace if the Affordable Care Act were eliminated. Mothers will die, beautiful babies will die, and unpredictable medical events will destroy families and their futures. Mr. Speaker, we're here today to charge you with misrepresentation. We speak not of your cloaking yourself as a compassionate conservative, claiming to care for the poor, while all the while continuing discredited economic policies that foolishly believe that giving more to the haves helps the have-nots. Somebody say health care, not an option, not an option. Mandatory. mandatory, anything less, anything less. Is sin, is sin, immoral, immoral. Unjust, unjust, and wrong. and wrong. We're going to leave here in a few minutes and go to the speaker to speak truth to power. And we're going to say to him, before us today, it is a question of conscience. And the question of conscience is a simple answer. Do what's right. That's right. Ain't gonna let nobody take them care. professionals we've all worked in politics but this is not one of those moments yeah so let us have a word of prayer yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see you in a minute we'll come yeah. down to the door okay well this is our front door so we would Which like one to is take the front door? this is this the front right. door okay, right well, we'll here be, we'll be there in a minute we're okay. not gonna block it we, we're good and let us have a second okay well we would well, like to take this the materials now since well, well, we have other meetings that we need to jump we, we don't want to so. give them just now give us a moment to pray okay. Today, what we're going to do, Reverend Butler, we're going to, each clergy that have particularly holy books, we're going to go and while we walk, we're going to offer a prayer for somebody based on this and leave these holy books at the door. There's a scroll here. Is it here yet? Yes. With all of the names. I want to leave with Senator Ryan this scripture found in Proverbs, the righteous have a concern for the poor. Yes. And we need the ACA, we need justice for all who are suffering from cancer. Amen. Amen. We need it. But the ACA <coughs> covered my son and his last months. He was well cared for. Amen. 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 
that I think it was critically important to show Paul Ryan that America is not going to accept this plan. We're not going to sit here and let people die. Why wealthy people just get extreme tax cuts. This makes no sense at all. I don't care, white, black, or brown. Health care is a human right. It's a sin that we're the only industrialized country in the world that does not offer universal health care. So we know that we may not get what we want today, but God gets what God wants in the end, and we'll keep fighting because we know that our fighting, we believe, will indeed bend the moral arc of the universe toward justice. So we will fight even though we may see defeats because for us, it's not about necessarily winning individual victories through battle because we know that ultimately God wins the war. Republicans say they're going to vote tonight by 7 p.m. on this uh, health bill of uh, President Trump. Uh, he's been meeting with uh, very conservative members of the House Freedom Caucus, but the problem is he's losing moderates. Let's go to our panel real quick here. Uh, Ralph, Republicans have got a serious problem right now because they're trying to appease the most conservative members of the House to get their votes, but now they're losing some of the more moderate members. Uh, and you've even had one uh, Republican uh, who said uh, that he was uh, not only voting no, he said he changed his vote to hell no. And I agree with him. Because if I were there, I wouldn't vote for this monstrosity of a bill either. Why not? Because this bill is guaranteed to implode health care in this country, just like the Affordable Care Act is going to implode. It is not a repeal, it is not a replacement, and in some ways it's even worse than what they claim to be fixing. And I have no understanding, no concept of why Speaker Ryan would put this piece of legislation out there and then to say we're going to come back and we're going to fix it in part two and part three. When has that ever happened in Congress? We're going to pass this first bill. Trust us. We're going to come back and we're going to fix it in two other subsequent pieces of legislation. No, either you do it right up front or you don't do it at all. Shelley, go to my iPad, please. Uh, this is a uh, photo of a Kentucky Republican, Thomas Massey. He put this on his door, Yolanda. Uh, again, no, that he changed it to hell no. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you got Republicans. I mean, so they got a problem. Donald Trump says he's a big time negotiator, uh, but he is now facing his most difficult test. His approval rating is now down to 37%, uh, according to the, to the, uh, the Quinniac poll. Uh, Gallup has it at 39%. Uh, Republicans cannot afford this public of a defeat. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this reminds me of the, the prescription drug bill was they left open for four plus hours to wrangle as many votes as possible. Listen, these people are cowards and I do think they will pass his bill, but it is going nowhere in the Senate and it is going to be the mark, the death nail for, for this, for the, the Republican Party. Not only that, uh, uh, Angela, uh, Trump, of course, threatened uh, Rep most conservative members saying, look, I'm going to campaign against you. The Koch brothers and their organizations announced that they are going to set aside a million dollars for each member who votes against this bill who Trump tries to oppose. Well, and I think that this speaks you to... You got black on black crime. You got, you got right, conservative right. on conservative crime. Right. The Freedom Caucus is looking a little feisty these days. But I think that... This is actually an indication of the, we talk a lot about the lack of vision and leadership on the Democrat side. I think we're seeing something very similar on the Republican side as well. Um, and, and, and again, we cannot forget the, the, the lack of, the, the, the blow to um, President Trump's credibility uh, when he comes out with these tweets about wiretapping and refusing to apologize, even acknowledge that it was a flat out lie, um, even after Intel uh, uh, official, after official, after official says, no, that didn't happen, right? So the Republicans that that are shaky in the Freedom Caucus or the, or, the, or the moderates as well, have nothing to believe in. They have nothing to, 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 to rally or behind. And, and I think that both the, 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 um, the lack of actual ideas and solutions in this bill and the lack of leadership um, or people wanting to vote for it is a clear indication that the Republican Party is in crisis. All right, folks, let's talk about this here. The Republican chair of the House Intelligence Committee dropped a bombshell yesterday in the ongoing drama over Trump's contention that he was wiretapped by President Obama. Okay, somebody on my staff wrote contention. No, that's a lie. He lied. California Congressman Devin Nunes says he's seen intelligence reports suggesting that communications from members of President Trump's transition team and the president himself were incidentally collected as part of a broader surveillance effort for three months after the election. What, uh, what, I've, what I've read uh, bothers me, and I think it should bother uh, the president himself and his team. 
uh, because I don't. I think some of it seems to be inappropriate. But like I said, until we get all the information to the committee, it's hard to uh, it's hard to really say until we see it in, in its totality. Nunez says he's alarmed it didn't change bipartisan agreement if there's no evidence Trump was wiretapped by President Obama. Still, Trump says he feels somewhat vindicated. I must tell you, I somewhat do. I very much appreciated the fact that uh, uh, they found what they found. But Democrats are not happy, including the ranking member of the Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff. They were outraged. He says sharing information with the White House instead of the Intelligence Committee could hurt the ongoing probe. The chairman will need to decide whether he is the chairman of an independent investigation into conduct, which includes allegations of potential coordination between the Trump campaign and the Russians, or he is going to act as a surrogate of the White House uh, because he cannot do both. What in the hell happened yesterday? <laughs> How can you be the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee? You ignore the Democrats on the committee. You don't even possess the documents. You said you got a call and you went to go see the information. You go to Speaker Paul Ryan, then you go to the White, then you have a news conference on Capitol Hill. Then you go to the White House to tell the very person, Trump, and then you hold another news conference on the outside. Now Senator John McCain is saying, this is, this is nonsense, you, got, you must have a select committee because clearly the House Intelligence Committee can't do the job. Ralph, what was your boy doing? Well, f for me, the issue, the bigger issue of this is, what, what was the term you used? Incidental? They yeah, call it incidental. So, incidental. so basically... So, so they, if they picked up incidental communications, that, that happens when you're doing an, right. an investigation. Yeah. The problem is, why then were those incidental communications reduced to a transcript and those transcripts communicated to the White House and throughout the communicate throughout the, um, hey, but the, the agency? But, 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 but we don't actually that, know that, that any of that happened. No, 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 no. That no. needs to be investigated. No, the, the, no, the, big, the big problem is, when you have the chairman of the committee who doesn't even, want, who did not even share the information with the full committee before he decided to go to the White House. Yolanda, is, that's crazy. This is his Waterloo. Are we investigating Nunes? That's who needs to be investigated now. Yeah. This, this was unconscionable. This, this was completely, it broke with protocol. Everyone is shocked. This is a disaster. And and if if they, to me, it, to they, me, it really uh, speaks to the lack of seriousness that is it, that is really fallen on not just on our politics, but actually on the way that we govern. That to the, the to imagine that the chair of the intel that's supposed to be responsible for overseeing this investigation into whether or not the, our president elect actually basically cheated in the election process is 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 going back and forth and reporting the information in a way that is completely out of protocol that nobody re can really keep track of i mean how are, how is not only the, the 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 american people but even the people that uh, new, uh, that um, representative Nunez is supposed to be chairing a committee on how are they supposed to trust him this administration right, right, okay. is making the nixon administration look here's look the biggest honorable. mistake republicans want to all of a sudden try to make this about leakers no no no, you want to focus on B, you don't want to focus on A. The actions of the chairman here were wrong and offensive, and how can you now trust there to be an impartial hearing? The congressional, the, 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 the legislative branch is supposed to have oversight over the executive branch, not be in cahoots. And how are we supposed to know if uh, we, we don't get Real to quick, know? And then right. We don't get to know where that information came from. All that we get, to, we don't get to know how we got there. All we know is somebody told me this thing. I can't tell you who. I can't tell you how I came from. But somebody told me, and and so now the president is somehow vindicated. Come on, well, Ralph. Twenty I'm seconds. Saying, this needs to be looked at by it's, who? It needs to be investigated by who? Who's gonna do who? it? By who? Who? Who a is, select no committee? We can trust. Oh, oh, a select committee. It maybe if you have to, if it has to be done by inside of the intelligence committee. But it and needs I, to be sorry, looked at. Intelligence who, committee. Who reduced these incidents? The intelligence the intel 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 Ralph. And then Ralph. Those Ralph. The intelligence committee. The intelligence, the intelligence committee, committee can't do it. House. Intelligence committee can't do it when your own chairman can't even share the information with the full committee because he's trying to protect Trump. All right, folks. Coming up next on News One Now. After 13 years of holding his painful secret, a man recants his statement that put another man in j in prison now that person who's recanting now faces 40 years in jail we'll talk with his attorney also uh, on the show Shannon Sharp Fox Sports talks about Colin Kaepernick he might know something about football he's only a Hall of Famer all that next news one on TV one